It's been a long time coming for Amber Fleeman. With more than 60 races under her belt on the Quarter Mile Thunder Ring at Atlanta Motor Speedway and coming oh so close a few times, the Decula native found victory lane for the first time at Thursday Thunder presented by Papa John's Pizza back on July 6th. That was huge. That was eight years in the making. I've been trying to go for that win for eight years between bandos and legend cars and it just hasn't worked out year after year, you know. It takes me, usually takes me till the end of the season to kind of get my momentum rolling and then by that point it's just you lose time, but that was huge. I was really, really excited about that. Everybody was excited to see that, so it was a good day for us. I think the momentum of that win will hopefully help us. It definitely helped me in the second race. Unfortunately, the results didn't um, show that, but it definitely gave me a lot of confidence and momentum to roll into these last four races of the season. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm hoping the momentum will be good for us. With three second place finishes under her belt in her career, finding victory lane for the first time wasn't easy. That last restart was very nerve wracking. I was very nervous that not only time could potentially get to us, but I knew we were kind of getting close on time, but I knew the people that were behind me were not going to just let a win go away. So they were going to give me a run for my money and they definitely did that. Um, but I was able to hold them off, so it was good, but I was, I was nervous. With the 2017 Thursday Thunder presented by Papa John's Pizza season winding down, Fleeman will use the confidence gained with the win to focus on chasing a championship. But the full-time Georgia Tech student doesn't always get to focus all her energy on racing. It's different. <laughs> Is that during the summer, it's not so bad because I'm racing all the time and taking a break from school. But during the school, sem uh, during the school semesters, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, you got to juggle racing on the weekends and school, um, studying and stuff. But I mean, it's worked out for me. I only have a year left, so not too much longer. Her life as a race car driver was unknown to her peers when she started at Georgia Tech back in 2014. But Georgia Tech actually did an article on me several years ago and lots of professors and students and stuff found out and it kind of went viral for a little bit and everyone's like, whoa, this girl's a race car driver? Like, when you see me on, at school, it doesn't really match to what you see at the racetrack, but um, everyone is super supportive of it. Um, I, I put a lot of my racing, I mean, a lot of my school into my racing, a lot of my friends come and support me, so it's really fun to put those two together. Those friends also include her sorority sisters. So I'm in a sorority, um, Five you, and my sisters love to come support uh, me at the racetrack, which is really cool, and it's kind of cool to see a different side of such involvement that people don't normally see. I am on the committee of new members. I help welcome in our new members, which is really fun to me. I love kids. Um, I enjoy our philanthropy, which is super important to me. Our philanthropy is Children's Miracle Network. And I also work with our dance marathon program, which is actually on the back of my car. So it's really cool that I get to put all of the donors and really spotlight Children's Milk Network and Children's Healthcare Atlanta and everything they do for the kids on my race car. It's something that's really important to me. Um, I'm actually the executive director of our dance marathon program at Georgia Tech. So I work very, very closely with these hospitals and everyone there and the kids. And we get to go visit the hospitals and just tell the kids, like, you know, this is what I do and they're like whoa you're a race car driver and they just love to see that and it's just cool to see a smile on the kids face show them a picture of the race car and some of them have even been to the racetrack here at Atlanta Motor Studio which is really cool to me that they've watched me race and didn't even know it. What would be really cool to Fleeman is turning her passion for motorsports into a career after she graduates from Georgia Tech. So I'm uh, majoring in mechanical engineering from Georgia Tech, so hopefully when I get out that I'll go straight into engineering within the racing industry. That's the goal at this point.